Hi everyone, welcome back. This is video number six and we are going to colour Honey the Badger's face and we're going to do her hair. So we started off by doing our base layering which we did with marker pen. We used mainly um, a pastel yellow and worked into it a little bit with orange and a darker yellow. We've outlined in blue and added in all our highlight colours with um, true green. So I've got in front of me a whole whack of pencils and I'm not sure that we're going to use all of them but you know for something like this um, you know fur that kind of thing you want to have quite a few tones. I find I like to do a lot of different um, colors almost like highlights bits of streaks. I find it, it makes um, you know the fur or the hair look quite interesting. So. As I go along um, and I grab pencils, I'll tell you which ones we're using, but this is the kind of palette that you're after. And I've also got this true green because we might just need to use it to fill in some gaps. So the first thing we want to do is, um, I think, take away from, from this, the thing that is very yellow. We want the yellow as the highlight color because it's going to really add a lovely lightness to the face, but we don't really want it to be the main color. So I'm going to start off by working on that a little bit and I'm going to use um, light yellow ochre, it's number 183 and pretty much where I'm starting here where I can start to fade and blend the colours in um, I'm going to start putting a layer of this colour over, over the face um, I really do, I like to colour very lightly um, at first, uh, kind of one of my philosophies I suppose is that you can, you know, you can always go darker but you can't really go lighter once you've gone too dark, so I do this in layers. Um, and you can see there by just um, adding in one layer of, you know, a slightly different tone which really starts to take away that very yellow. And then with that tone now, with the same pencil, I'm going to start working into everywhere um, because basically what we want to do is we want to work over this light yellow and make it um, more of a, not a dirty tone, but just something that's not so pastely, I suppose. This is a lovely colour. A lot of people ask about fur and colouring fur. The way that I, you know, the way that I do it is I kind of follow the lines. There's natural clusters of um, of kind of like streaks of, of fur that, that go together and I'll pick those out and colour into those. You want to join, you know, the hair somehow to itself and um, by following those lines you pretty much can. We've already got quite a lot of colour in here. We've got bits of orange and darker yellow and um, now we're adding in this ochre. So it's not a fortune of colouring that you're pretty much going to be doing at this stage. It's just really... Um, adding a bit of darkness to the overall tone. Still want to keep some of that pastel yellow because look over here that makes a lovely um, the light um, you know it gives it a lovely light but where it's very very light I would say that's what I'm looking for right now where are the patches where things are very pastely that I can maybe just go and add a bit of richness to the colour it's lovely, it completely doesn't have to be the same, the hair on the one side to the other. Um, and as long as we use the same colours and we stick to the same kind of idea, then it's going to look the same. Okay, so that already looks great. Now we're going to take <clears throat> a darker colour. This is one of my other absolute favourite colours. This is um, called Cinnamon. It's number 189. And going to <coughs> work a little bit into the areas, um, maybe the, the darker yellow 
um, so that we've got a nice variance here going on. Again, it just adds another tone of brown, adds richness to the overall effect that we're creating. I generally do, um, I'll very seldom do two colours exactly the same next to each other. I kind of skip two or three and then do another one. Um, and somehow it works amazingly, they all blend together. The hair also, everyone's is going to look completely different. You're never going to be able to copy mine exactly. Um, and this is a great opportunity for you also to just, you know, work your way through it and see how you manage um, with it. Love the red violet. Definitely going to be adding some of that in. There's some nice um, places to add some darker tones. Again, it's the dark tones that are going to make it really interesting. It's a bit of a faff and a fiddle situation with the hair, you know. You know, do a bit here and do a bit there and look at it and see what, what it still needs. Um, you don't need to use a million colours. I mean, that's the one thing also to just, you know, bear in mind. So, so far we've got one, uh, two, three. Um, and maybe just one more brown, which this one is called Indian Red, to go over, you know, the orange streaks and add some uh, tonal contrast there, you know. So I would say with those four colours, you know, with that, that kind of variation in tone, you should be able to get through the hair and um, give it a really lovely effect. Don't forget to go in here as well, the section, you know, where it is already darker. Um, you can do very, very nice contrast in here. I'm going to get stuck in here with the red violet and um, I'm sure it's going to come out looking really great. So that's where I'm going to leave you for now. That's the end of um, video six. And at the end of, um, at the end of these six videos, you should have done basically all your shading and blending honey should be finished and what we're going to start with um, on video seven will be working on the background hope you've enjoyed it so far and you're having fun with your coloring we'll catch up with you later